Welcome back to the new session of educational videos from Best Care Forum. The knee extender has to be used for bench alignment of the prosthesis. This ensures the recommended sagittal positioning of the prosthetic components, the foot socket and knee joint relative to each other and therefore offers the full functionality of the knee joint. Turn the adjustment screw of the knee extender counterclockwise, setting the knee extender to the minimum height. Extend the knee joint. Check whether both flexion stops are mounted on the knee joint. Set the knee extender onto the hydraulics housing and slide it into the stop. Turn the adjustment screw clockwise until you can feel a resistance and the knee extender touches the flexion stops. Insert a size 4 torque wrench into the adjustment screw and turn the adjustment screw clockwise until 70 newton centimeters are reached. If you don't have a torque wrench with suitable range, then turn the adjustment screw 10 turns further using a size 4 Allen key. The knee joint is now in the correct position for bench alignment. During bench alignment, the knee extender has to stay in the joint. I hope you like the educational videos from Best Care Forum. Please, if you have any suggestion, if you have any question, write your comment under the same video or contact us with 00971. 5091102160 My name is Esmail Nuri I will answer you 24 hours 7 days a week or write an email to us with the same email you can see on the display right now Thank you for your trust Thank you for using these educational videos to be able to provide better services to your community and to your patients God bless you all, stay healthy and see you soon. Thank you. The stance flexion resistance can be set up in the adjustment software for the patient individually. Based on body weight and lower leg length, a recommendation for the value is shown in the software in the field recommendation. First, the adjustment stance flexion resistance is checked while performing a sitting down movement. The patient should be able to load the prosthesis while sitting down. The flexion velocity should meet the patient's need. The value can be adjusted via the adjustment software. In the next step, the stance flexion resistance has to be checked while going downstairs. The value should meet the patient's need. If the patient has the feeling that he is sinking down too fast, for example, the value can be adjusted in small increments via the software. Finally, the value has to be checked while walking down a ramp. Here too, the value can be adjusted if necessary. The final adjusted stance flexion resistance must offer the patient a satisfactory level of support in all three situations.